So this is something that we sell down uh, at our stand, and um, it's kind of a, it's become like a cult classic. Uh, it's a big, it's a big following. Um, so I figured out I'll show people uh, how simple uh, some things can be, and especially with herbs, what you can do with herbs, and um, and how tasty they can be, and how fresh and rewarding they are. Uh, so I'm going to be doing an herbal spring roll with a couple of different types of herbs. Um, this one, I did one uh, this weekend, kind of the same thing. You can pretty much fill this with almost anything you want. I'm just going to do a little bit of fresh cucumber and some uh, rice noodles. I did shrimp mousse uh, the other night. You could do um, pea shoots. Uh, I mean, pretty much is, is pretty much standard. So uh, the first thing you're going to need is uh, a little uh, spring roll skin. Um, there's a couple of different varieties out there. Um, we use these because they're a little bit um, a little bit larger because uh, we do like one large spring roll that we sell. Um, but there's other ones that you can get a little smaller if you can do some smaller ones. Yeah. Has anybody uh, ever worked with uh, skin uh, spring roll skin? No. So they come in pretty uh, pretty delicate. They're hard. Um, so you just need a little bucket of water set aside. You're going to uh, soak it, I would say, no, no more than like 30 seconds. You're going to take it out. It's still going to have a texture that's kind of hard. Um, some people put like the, put down a, a towel to kind of absorb some of the water. Um, the longer you keep this in here, the more uh, it's just going to become fragile. It just shreds on you. So uh, it's basically a non-workable. So you can pretty much see how, how, pliable, how pliable it's getting. Depending on how big you want these, um, you know, just you can cut your uh, your, uh, your cucumber to the size that you want. Um, you can make these any size. The rice noodles is pretty much I just bring up water up to a boil, put the noodles in, let them soak for about 10 minutes, run cold water over them, and they're done. Uh, they sit in the refrigerator for a couple days. They don't go bad. Uh, they last. Um, so I'm just going to take a handful, just put it on the, the rice paper. Now I get these uh, beautiful herbs that I picked uh, this morning. Um, I get a little fresh spearmint. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of place the herbs around. Um, so depending on when you, when you roll it, you're going to get a different herb uh, per different uh, bite that you take. Um, I get a little Thai basil. Thai basil has a little more uh, pepper notes than um, some of the other basils. Um, I get African uh, blue basil that we sell here. Uh, this is uh, much more peppery than the, uh, the, the Thai basil. And depending on uh, where you put your herbs, if you put them up front, by the time you roll, you finish, uh, you'll see all the herbs on the other side. So the purple is nice to put up front. Fresh chives, this kind of gives you a little bite. And last and my favorite is uh, Vietnamese coriander. Um, it's not a part of the cilantro family, but it has kind of the same similar uh, taste as the cilantro. Um, but the thing about this, it doesn't bolt. It doesn't go to seed really fast. Uh, so this actually stays whole. And it's a uh, tender perennial, so that means it doesn't last outside, but you can bring it inside and it goes through the winter. And it basically just stays flowered or it just stays uh, in leaf form through the winter. Uh, Vietnamese coriander. Um, it has a similar, kind of like a basil, cilantro type of flavor. It's really, really, really strong, but it's um, just something that you just don't see every day. So I'm going to put a couple of those around. Now it's just like kind of like rolling like a burrito. When it roll, tuck, fold over. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. And the thing about these is, uh, you can make these a couple of days ahead. Um, they do. They, they as you work them, the, the wetter they are, the, the, the softer that they're going to get. The, the more delicate they're going to break apart. Um, you let them sit. They tighten up a little as the skin dries, and you can you can cut these in little hors d'oeuvres. The, the last couple of days, uh, they're really quick. Like I said, you can fill them pretty much with anything. Um, 
So what we do, we sell it with a little uh, soy or like a ponzu peanut sauce. Uh, it's just uh, ponzu, a little bit of peanuts, um, some garlic, some mirin, honey, uh, and some ginger. Just puree it up with a little bit of water and some mustard. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing how some, something so simple and delicate can be so flavorful too. So.